Hey guys, it's Katie. Welcome back to my channel. I am so glad that you're here. Today's video is going to be something that I saw Larry Reed's do. She made her own beginning of the year book tag and I did an end of year book tag last year at the end of the year. Well, obviously it's at the end of the year, but I did it during bookmas and I really enjoyed doing it because it was kind of fun to like see where I was at in my reading journey, see my goals, see my favorite books of the year, all of that kind of stuff. So I really wanted to do this beginning of the year one the second I saw her do it. If you haven't seen hers, go ahead and check it out. I'll leave it linked down below. And there are 24 questions because it is the year of 2024 and I have them all on my laptop. So if I'm like looking down or anything like that, don't mind that. Let's just go ahead and get right on into it because I know I'm going to be talking a lot in this video and I don't want to talk your ear off in the beginning of the video because then that's gonna be a never-ending video so let's go with question number one how many books are you planning on reading my reading goal for the year is gonna be a hundred books and I think I'm actually behind right now or am I on track I can't remember it looks like I'm on schedule right now because I have read 10 books so far this year I'm just really nervous about getting behind schedule and stuff like that because on Goodreads it like tells you how you're doing with your goal I guess and kind of keeps it up to date for you so then you're not just like I've only read 67 books and it's December 1st like how many you know you know what i mean i feel like it's a pretty attainable goal i think last year i read 62 books and i really only started like reading reading i think in may so i feel like i could definitely do it it's gonna be a little bit of challenge but i'm excited and hopefully i do reach it most anticipated releases of the year i actually did a whole video i did my 24 for 2024 so my 24 most anticipated releases for the year so go ahead and check that out if you want to know the answer to that question a new genre that i'd like to try more of I think that I'm gonna say why a mystery. I've read quite a few why a mysteries recently. Well, I guess not quite a few. I've read like two, <laughs> but truly, I've just been enjoying them so much. The next question is, what book made you want to try this genre? And I would say the book that really inspired it is The Naturals by Jennifer Lynn Barnes. This is the same author who wrote the Inheritance Games trilogy, and this is a four book, and then there's a novella at the end series, and it's just a YA criminal minds investigative moment. And I really enjoyed this one. I was on the edge of my seat. I read it in like two days. Probably could have been in one if I had the time to. It was just so good, and I don't know. I can't handle like adult mysteries because I'm literally uh, the most scaredy cat person ever but i've just been loving the ya ones because i can actually like stomach it so highly recommend this series and i'm excited to get into other ya mystery series too i want to get into the truly devious series really bad too a book you're most likely to reread so the second book and there's a novella coming out too so there's two books coming out in the powerless series this year i absolutely love this book this was my favorite book of 2023 probably one of my favorite books of all time it's so beautifully tabbed i just love her so much i love the story i love these characters so i'm probably gonna reread this before the second one comes out some other books that I would really love to reread is Happy Place and Beach Read by Emily Henry. Those are five-star reads for me. Honestly, any five-star read for me I would love to reread. I just remember those books just being so good and just evoked so much emotion in me. So I probably have to be in the right mood because I do get pretty emo whenever I read those. But I would love to give those a reread if I have the chance. And then I would really love to reread Better Than The Movies. This is my favorite YA romance. This is Dylan Painter because the second one, I think it's better. What is it? It's nothing like the movie. So that's the second one this year. And I just love these characters love this story so much this really made me fall in love with reading So I really want to reread this book before going into the second one Okay, a book that I want to get to in 2023, but didn't so it's a priority for 2024 I would probably say Archer's Voice is actually up here at the bottom of my TBR I don't know if you can see it. I had my little lego versions of me and luke covering it i just heard such wonderful things about that book it's a five star for a lot of people and i feel like i want to know you know i want to know what i think about it i want to know if i like it i just feel like it's time i feel like it's time to finally read it and know and then a series you want to read this year i am about halfway through ish i think i have five books left in the throne of glass series we have another one on the tbr right here i've read these three so far throne of glass crown of midnight and the assassin's blade and i have enjoyed them so much no five stars yet in the series but i have a feeling they are coming and i just loved it so much i also want to read crescent city i have the first two right now i want to read the third one because i just want to be ready for whenever she comes out with a new release obviously she just released crescent city 3 but i couldn't make it in time for that so hopefully i can make it in time for the next ones i just want to read the whole massiverse because i've already finished akatar an author you've never read before but want to try this year i really want to read the chestnut spring series by lc silver as well i have the first one up here called flawless it's a five book cowboy romance series i have heard such great things about her writing and i'm just so excited to finally get into that series and read a book by her because people just rave about them all the time and i want to know if i'm gonna like them too an author you're probably not going to read more of this year i 
honestly i don't know looking through my bookshelves i don't know if i have one well i don't know if i could think of anybody it would probably be colleen hoover i think i've just kind of grown out of reading her books i have three books i think that i haven't read garrity november 9th and regretting you and those are all by her i just don't know if she's my taste anymore of reading if that makes sense because i started out reading a few of her books i think i've only read three ugly love it starts with us and it ends with us and those were at like the very beginning of my reading journey and i haven't read any since so i don't know Maybe Colleen Hoover. But I also feel bad for not reading books whenever I bought them. So we'll see. I might end up reading them someday. A popular book that you want to read. I have had this on my shelf for so long. So many people rave about it. And a lot of people don't like it either, which makes me kind of nervous. I would say the Magnolia Park series by Jessa Hastings. It is right here. I have the new covers. Let's... Let's not talk about how upset I was whenever I figured out that I couldn't get the old ones. And I already bought the first one. So now I can't get the old ones because then they will all match. And I don't even know if I like the series yet. So why would I get the old one? Do you understand where I'm going with this? Disappointing um, situation, period. That's really it. I've just heard so much about it. I'm a little nervous though, just because of the tropes that are in there. They're not really my favorite, but so many people just love it. And I really hope I love it too, to be honest. A non-popular book that I want to read this year, I would say Don't Be In Love by Liana Kincati. I just read Picking Daisies on Sundays by her and she's an indie author and I really liked it. It was super cute and fun. So I want to read her other book that she has out too. I think it's just another like cutesy rom com romance book and I like the other one. So hopefully I like this one too. An audiobook that you want to listen to. I love listening to memoirs as audiobooks specifically just because most of the time the person who it's about is the one narrating it specifically i really want to listen to tom felton's i love my draco malfoy he is everything and then also i've heard great things about viola davis's i think it's actually won some awards and stuff like that so i really want to listen to those two let me know down below if you guys have any other suggestions of some memoirs i should listen to a book that you want to read based on the cover this is something that i think it's coming out on like the 13th or the 14th on february and i just saw it on goodreads and i clicked it as want to read because the cover is so cute i don't even know what it's about um but it's called ready or not and it is by Cara Bastone. And it just has the cutest, like, springy trees. Like, the trees are so beautiful. And then it's just a picture of them, like, walking. Like, <laughs> is it not the cutest thing you've ever seen? And then, like, the buildings on the side, too. I just, so cute. I would love to read that. Don't know what it's about, but it'll look cute on my bookshelves. So, Maybe I need to get over that. Anyways, moving on. A book to TV adaptation that you're excited for. I'll be completely honest. I don't really know a lot of them that are coming. I know It Ends With Us is coming and I know I'll go see that, but I'm not really excited for it because have you looked at even like their wardrobe? Like what is even going on with that? Poor Blake Lively. I don't even think anybody can make her look bad. But I guess they can. Bad, period. And I know there's been talk of a lot of things. I just don't really know what else is like fully for sure. But there's been talk about a bee tree something going on. And then also anything about the Massiverse, I would love to. I know people have talked about an Akatar or Throne of Glass TV show type thing. I don't really know if that's like set in stone at all. But I would love those to be made into something. Espe oh my god. Betting on the movies. Betting on the movies? better than the movies. There we go. I was missing two titles of Lynn Painter books. I think the movies would be such a good movie and I don't even think people know why. Like they don't even realize it. They could literally have a new kissing booth to all the boys I loved before. The summer I turned for it. Like anything YA TV movie-ish TV-ish related that has gotten so popular. Literally it's sitting right there for you. Take it and make it because I will literally take all my money. I will go see it immediately. I feel like a lot of the film industry and stuff like that, they don't even realize what they have like at their arsenal. Is that, is that, I don't, they just don't even realize what they have. Like they have so many great books that all of these fans of the books will go and see because they're like diehard fans. So you've already got them wanting to go see it. And then you have like the general public seeing trailers and stuff like that. Like, guys, this is where your money's at. Like we should be making these instead of just making remakes of everything. Let me know if you need somebody to be hired to choose what you make in movies and what you don't because I would be really great at it. I'm just gassing myself up, but I know I would. Something bookish you want to start doing this year. I really want to wait to rate books. I don't know how long specifically, but I feel like a lot of the time I will finish it. I'm like, oh my gosh, five star, five star, five star, five star, five star, five star, five star. I can't even spit that out. Whenever it's just like really not, like it's just not a five star. And like, I think deep down I know that, but like in the moment I just don't, you know? And sometimes too, I just get like really excited to rate it. So I'm like, ooh, four, 
three. And I'm like, no, that, it, it. I'm just really indecisive too. So it's hard sometimes because I go back and forth on everything. So I think I just want to wait until I have a definitive answer and not say a rating that it just like it isn't, if that makes any sense. And I also want to buy a few more special editions of my favorite books. I love the way my books look on my bookshelves. P.S. There might be a new bookshelf moment coming soon. Just saying. Hope you're excited for that. But I love looking at my books and honestly like getting special editions of your favorites is the best feeling ever. So I would love to have more special editions of my favorite books. Specifically ones with sprayed edges. If you're making a special edition without sprayed edges, what are you doing? Like straight up, what are you doing? I just feel like every special edition should have sprayed edges because like, yeah, the cover is probably different and it's cool or the hardback or whatever, something inside is different or there's special content. But like, <sighs> spray edges just make everything more special and cuter and wonderful. So do it. Something bookish you want to stop doing this year. I would definitely say forcing myself to read books. I think a lot of the time I am reading for a video and I don't want to be reading the book that I'm reading or just like learning to DNF. Like that's okay, Katie. Or maybe I'm not in the mood for it. You know, like maybe I need to wait to read that later. So maybe I should film a different reading vlog at that time. Just stuff like that. Like I don't want to be forcing myself to read because honestly that can lead to a book slump or just not enjoying reading at all anymore. And I don't want to do that. So I want to find kind of like a healthy balance of reading for work, but also just like not forcing myself to read. A 2024 bookish goal. I really want to support some more indie authors. How I was talking about the Liana Kinkati book. I think that sometimes it's harder to find indie authors though. So I think I just have to go through like a TikTok or an Instagram rabbit hole and just kind of search everybody up. But I know that there are tons out there. So if you know any indie authors that you think that I would enjoy or I should check out, please leave those in the comments down below. I would love to read some more of indie authors author's works and also just support them in general. A 2024 booktube grow. Obviously I would love to grow on booktube and just reach more people, grow our book community, and I don't know, just talk to more people about books. I would love to also talk to other bookish creators and kind of create relationships with them too and kind of connect with them and stuff like that. I feel like that would be so great. I look up to so many of them, so be able to like talk to them about our favorite books and stuff like that. I would absolutely love that. And I also want to come up with like my own video ideas and things that are more creative and unique coming from like my brain and not just using ideas that are already out there or ideas that are always trending and stuff like that. I want to try to do that the best I can. Maybe like one video a month or one every two months or something like that. That's kind of like that. That is just like straight up plucked from my brain and kind of like an original idea. I feel like that'd be fun and also like kind of like challenge me a little bit. A 2024 non-bookish goal. I would say that two biggest things for me this year are probably money because I'm literally getting married so I need to be a lot better with my money and then the other thing would probably just be overall wellness I just want to make sure that I'm taking care of myself you know all that stuff that everybody talks about every single year but yeah just want to make sure that I'm taking care of this as well as like this if you know what I'm saying describe how you want 2024 to go in one word well I, <laughs> I don't know maybe like fulfilling I hope that it's a very like fulfilling year full of just great things great memories great people i don't know fulfilling let's let's do that one booktube creators who inspire you i know that i'm gonna leave somebody out and i really don't want to because there are so many people that i love watching on here so i'm gonna do what larry did and just like put them on the screen somewhere all these people are so wonderful and amazing and i hope to someday chat with them about books and i love getting their recommendations and they've just inspired me so much to do my own booktube channel and talk about books because I love reading and yeah I don't know I just thank you for inspiring me to not only do booktube but also to read because I never thought it would be something that I would like to do but it is literally one of my favorite things ever and thank you for all the wonderful book recommendations that you've given me I also think it's so cool like reading like everybody is so different so there's always at least one creator probably on this group of people that I showed you that if you don't like the books that I recommend you'll definitely like the books that one of them recommends so I would definitely check all these people out something you want to say to anyone wanting to start a book account do it i've been doing social media for i don't even know how long well since sixth grade whenever instagram came out and i think i posted my first ever youtube video whenever i was in sixth grade but i never posted consistently or anything like that because i kind of got made fun of whenever i was younger and then i started posting again during covid but i really started consistently posting probably i'm gonna say less than a year ago because i was posting videos here and there but i wasn't posting like super consistently and i don't know i am just so proud of myself to see how far i've come from the beginning i love looking back at my old videos and i know this is kind of rare a lot of people don't like to look at their old videos i'm mainly talking about like 
my first few. They are a little cringy, and I don't watch them with anybody else because I don't think I could handle that secondhand embarrassment. But I just love seeing how far like my editing skills and my talking to the camera skills and all of those kinds of things have come. And being able to share with the community, even though we are small, we are mighty. And I love chatting with you guys in the comments about books that we love. And I don't know, it's just such a wonderful place. Booktube is one of the most welcoming places on the internet, I would have to say. And everybody's just so nice and sweet and supportive. And I just love it. I love booktube and honestly I feel like if you have something you're passionate about don't be afraid to talk about it on social media even if you think you're gonna get looks or stares or whatever I feel like we're past that like I remember whenever I was a teenager I just couldn't get over that but now that I'm 23 years old I truly don't care sometimes of course I'll think about it, I'll be like Ugh. Do they watch my YouTube videos? Like thinking about like friends or like people that I kind of know of or do they see me posting on social media on Instagram promoting my YouTube, stuff like that. But I just don't care because I'm doing something that I love and I feel like it's so worth it to take the jump because this be could be literally become your job. Like why not? Your job should be something that you enjoy doing and literally reading books all day long. How fun is that? That's all I'm gonna say on that because I could literally talk about that forever. I just really hope you guys do it and Hello, join this wonderful community. Those are all 24 questions and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys have any books you want me to read, any books that I talked about in this video that you have thoughts on, or if you have answers to all of these questions yourself, go ahead and post them in the comments. I will have all the questions in the description so you can just copy and paste your answers with the questions. And I feel like that'd be kind of fun so I can get to know your guys' reading taste and maybe get a book rec or two from you guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe and also follow me on all of my other social media pages to keep up with more of my day-to-day -day life and yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video like i already said probably a billion times and i will see you guys in the next one bye guys don't you just love it whenever your battery dies and um you're like in the middle of filming a video <laughs> literally how dare it how dare it i'm not having a good day right now